keep giving him good clients. Like you yeah. said, he'll stay. Yeah. <laughs> well, he goes did. to y'all and he experiences a sigh of relief. Yeah. Going to y'all versus some. Uh, yeah, because you said, poof, how did that happen? And I told him, don't worry about it. Just yeah. do what you have to do. And he was like, no. I said, no, just just do what you have to do. We, and he would go, we patient people. Yeah, it's all about <laughs> patience and doing stuff like this. I said, I'm not going patience. anywhere. We're not going anywhere. So we have all the time in the world. You could lose your patience, though, if if um, things weren't happening the right way. What What is it about our projects that allowed you to keep your patience? I just think it was just, uh, it was the project manager. It was David. He he stayed in contact. Whenever I texted him, I always heard right back from him. Yeah. And sometimes even if I called him, he would always answer. And if I had a problem, I was telling him, I uh, thought about something, you know, he would do that too. But I just think, no, I just think it's him and it was us too, I really do believe. Yeah. Y'all are patient and y'all are great clients. Yeah, because yeah, you know, we retired military. I'm a military wife. So I know how to adjust to changes because we was moving every three years. So, oh wow! Yeah. So that's a lot. And mm -hmm. you were also in this for the long haul. That, that this was going to be a, a one time and be done with it project, yes. right? Right. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I know that there must have been there must have been some setbacks. <laughs> there had to be a few things that had you know little setbacks, but they don't. Oh, the fireplace was probably maybe a week late because it missed the snowstorm. That's the only problem. That's right. So, <laughs> so we have that memory to add to the events, right? I guess you could have been a lot late. worse, right? Yeah, but it yeah. still wasn't, it, it still yeah. wasn't uh, bad. You know, you guys was going to finish that week. Yeah, yeah. And then it just started right. a week behind. Oh, exactly. yeah. Okay. yeah, things happen. I who, who's that. predict that anyway? You know, who's predict that? <laughs> It was, yeah. it was on, it was, everything yeah. was right on schedule. Yeah. And so y'all had yeah. some massive dust walls too. Yes. Oh, we love those. <laughs> I love them for the privacy with me doing home daycare. Mm -hmm. To keep the kids, cause if I wanted to do anything, I could lock that door. And I don't have to worry about them coming out here. Mm -hmm. yeah. The so, kids yeah. venturing into yeah. the construction zone. Yeah. So you had little kids coming over who weren't even yours while your house was being yeah. remodeled and you didn't even worry. Yeah. Not at all. I was telling her too about change and it allowed the kids to see change. So it was it was good for them in terms of that aspect. Oh yeah. Too. That is good. This is just kind of see the flux yeah. in lives yes, and exactly. not everything is exactly. just as normal, you know. And yeah. then even when they see it. When they even seen the workers, you know, like when they come in in the morning, because uh -huh. I would tell the guys, you know, I got two more coming. So they would call me when they would get there, and you know, the kids would come in, hi. And, you know, they was curious, hi. And they would try to venture this way, but I would always <laughs> yeah. get them. They yeah. wanted to see the guys. Huh? Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. And the, the, the feeling that you saw between the, the, the workers or our employees and the kids, how did you feel about that? How did they I felt interact? It was good and I felt safe That's with the work. You know, I didn't feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. because, like I said, I felt that I was truly behind a wall. Yeah, <laughs> you did. were. You that know, was a real wall. And, and, yeah. and the door even had a lock on it. So yeah. that's what I like to You really appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. And my makeshift kitchen was the garage. Mm -hmm. So if I went in the garage to kiss, cook the kids' lunch, I wouldn't worry about them if they come out because the door was locked. I wouldn't have right. to worry about it. Take me to make sure the kids are. The kids were safe. Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 I'm glad you're bringing out some of those benefits that we don't always think about. We we first started doing it for dust, mm -hmm. right? privacy, uh, clients feeling secure so that we couldn't get into other areas of the home. That, right. Uh, but the privacy was a big one. Then COVID came, and that was another good reason to have yes. a barrier up, right? Right. Correct. <laughs> And then, really and then, so you felt like we were we were doing protocols to protect y'all. Of course, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Because those the guys kept their masks on, okay. and if I came around to go to the refrigerator, and I would come. I said, oh, I forgot to put my mask on. They said, It's okay, we got ours on. They always <laughs> had their masks on. They always had their. <laughs> oh, that's I never good. had to tell any of the people to put their masks on. Oh, good. No, that's and good that, to hear. Yeah. You got enough things to worry about in a, in a remodeling project of this size. Besides the workers, right? To, to, to have to be work, worrying about workers is is not one stress anybody needs. Yeah, yeah. And you know he was still working when they first started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know I was 
taking videos to showing him what was going on because he wasn't here when the wall went up. Oh. Yeah, she was a project manager. Here, so, <laughs> she so I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Earl would come on. He was like, man, I didn't know. It was I said, I didn't either. I said, they built. Earl said, they did that today. Yeah. I said, yes, they did it. Rob and Mike, I said, yes, they did it today. Oh. And they was really good. So they make a good impression when they show up, don't they? They do. Yes, they was yes. they, they customer service skills is outstanding, and that's something I'm really big on. Yeah. yeah. People with customer service skills, because uh, I hate to call somebody on the phone and then they lose with me. Mm -hmm. I, and then they'll ask for a survey. Yeah, like, and, sure. And I would say bad customer service <laughs> skills I need more training. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Well, it makes a lot of difference. But I like the fact that you are y'all are very frank and direct communicators and that always helps us to know where we stand and and of course there's probably a lot of people that, even in our business that don't really want you to say anything because they don't want to have to fix it if they but, don't know they don't have to fix it yeah, <laughs> yeah they can, just, if they can just sneak out before it's the way you want it then it's going to be hard to get a hold of them right, right. but right. we truly want that long-term relationship and so it helps when people are like you who communicate and we have to create the environment, I'm sure you agree, for you to feel safe telling us anything. True. Right. And that's what I liked about David. Because, you know, he wouldn't, you know, and I know he's a project manager, he knows everything, he knows what he's doing, which is I said, David, you got a good memory. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, because I would say I would just pick out some things, oh you're gonna do this, David? He says, Oh yeah, yeah, Mr. Jones, yeah, I he's gonna tell me, yeah, I'm, we're gonna do this tomorrow or we're gonna do this later on today or whatever. And it's like Okay, yeah, I don't know. He's got that covered. Yeah, it's like you feel good when he was on it. Yes, yes. It wasn't it was something like, you had to just no, no, it was push like, him on. And one no, nothing no. he had to think about when Earl would tell him, or either when I would tell him anything, he would say it's gonna be happening on Thursday and Friday, this is what's gonna happen. And that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I said, I know you're on it, but I want to just make sure you yeah. have not He said, I have not forgotten Miss Jones. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and, and the website too, huh? Let me forget the website because going to the website, the builder, what's the, that? Builder truck, builder? Oh, builder trend. Trend. Builder trend. Uh -huh. The website. I that mean, was nice. I was looking at the project too in terms of the schedule. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was following that as well. That helped. Oh yeah, absolutely. And then it's got the photographs there. You know, it's got the pictures there. Mm -hmm. Downloaded yeah. every day's progress. It's, exactly. Exactly. So when you weren't home, you couldn't yeah. even look yeah. at that in case yeah. you had. Yeah. yeah. If I missed anything, like right? yeah. Because <laughs> I, I was sending videos at work. It allowed me to pay you too, because yeah. Initially, well, not not actually the website, but once you notified me, uh, I could pay her too. Direct on that account. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Which we, was helpful because, easier. yeah, especially. Yeah, it's nice for it to be integrated. Yes, yes. Clients appreciate having a portal like that. that has That's so a good much. idea. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I'm you know, sure it's, it's the customer service for you all, but for us it's efficiency. Yeah. So it benefits both parties really well because it's a documentation, it is keeping track, organized. Right. Uh, Transparency is achieved through that as well. Right. So we're we're glad right. you were using it, and we find more and more clients really appreciating it. Right. How is David? Um, so we give you a daily text or call every day. I know. How do you miss him? I do. <laughs> I if this morning uh, at seven fifteen, my phone ding because my phone used to ding every morning at seven. Mm -hmm. So in the back of my mind, I said, David is late today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. He's gone. Like, yeah, and I said, oh, he's not coming. Then I checked it. It was my sister. Oh. <laughs> You're like, where's my David text? Yeah, so I said, because uh, for the, since November, I've been yep. getting daily text messages. Yeah, and I'm the one who usually answer back to him because the Earl was, and then even after he retired, he still let me continue. Yeah. To well, I, I'll tell you one thing. Your messages are some of the most cheerful of all the clients we're dealing with. It's <laughs> always so positive. Thank you, David, and you have a great day too. I yes. mean, it's just always, <laughs> always upbeat with you. Yes. And I, was, and I truly appreciate that because I was on there too, watching everything that was being said. Yes, yeah. David, and and it wasn't just me saying that. That's just we like David, and that's the way I am. Yeah. You know, he taking the time, even though he's doing his job, but he taking the time to send us a long text, and at the end, he always polite, and you have a great day. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So it's been always. 
said back she could, then. She could tell the differences in text too. You know, you said you could, you could tell the differences. Oh yeah, in text. I could tell the difference when David went on vacation. I think it was Chad. You know, Chad would always tell me, "This is Chad sitting in for Dave. This is gonna happen such and such and such." Yeah. And I would always say, like, "Where's my great day?" Oh yeah, you didn't say you, you, you could have said you didn't have to tell me it wasn't David. I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a nice thing. <laughs> yeah. Not saying he wasn't yeah. nice, but I could just tell it wasn't David. Yeah. 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 You yeah. know, so, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start calling him the Psalmist David. <laughs> 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 he and he just be he is he be so and he put me in the mind I was intending to tell him. He, he put me in the mind of Joel Osteen for some reason. Really. That's what he kind of put, you know, his mannerism. Who's Joel? Oh, yeah. He's yeah. a pastor that comes on TV uh -huh. up oh, there. Okay. Lake, Lake Wood Church. Lake Church. He's a very warm, warm. Young guy, young handsome yes. guy. Oh, okay. He's about six feet two, and he's seen, six feet three. Oh, yeah, he awesome. seemed yeah. to be, because uh, I watch Joel. Okay. All the time, and I listen David to him. makes you feel good like Joel, huh? Yes, you know, it's just a warm, warm feeling, you yep. know. Always positive. Yeah. You know, he was always, he, certainly is. he was always, he always came in smiling. He never came in like, I don't have a rough day or this day and this, never. Oh, I know. He does such a good job of that. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. your face has to be tired from smiling all day, David. <laughs> now, that's what made you say that. That's what they tell Joe. Really? <laughs> really? That's funny. Yeah. That's what that's they tell funny. Joe. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that is so funny. I guess you're right. Yeah, because yeah. they told him once, you know, they asked him, why did he smile so much life? And he said, I'm just a happy person, and that's what I do, smile. And then he said cheese and smiled in. So <laughs> that's what, that's the way Joel is. That is so yeah. interesting. Yeah. Aww. What Can about I, the, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I was going to say, what about the cabinet installers? Oh, sorry. we love them. <laughs> I love, uh, I never forget his name. Right Elio. Now, Elio, uh -huh. I wrote. And I would come in and ask Elio something. I said, Elio, I don't think uh, such and such. Ma'am, whatever you want. <laughs> and I'm going to check with David. I said, okay. Because it was something about, I think it was the uh, crown molding, the granddaughter. Oh. <laughs> I think it was the crown molding that uh -huh. they had this thin, and it, it was kind of uneven. Uh -huh. So I told him, I said, I don't, I don't think that looked right. And he said, whatever you want, ma'am, I'm going to check with David. I said, okay. <laughs> yeah, they, but tell him what uh, they said about... You did such a good job, and then he said, who's my boss? <laughs> oh, yeah, Elio, he was, you know, he cleaned up every day when he left. And I came to him and said, Elio, you did so, do such a good job in cleaning. He said, my boss don't stand for nothing but clean. <laughs> <laughs> he is such That's an so honest sweet. man. Yeah. <laughs> so, Elio is, I mean, he was doing all heart. He is all heart, too, isn't he? Elio. Yes. And he said, I have to, you know, my dog, my boss don't take nothing else but, but clean. I said, well, I tell you, he won't be disappointed in you. you <laughs> did All of them did it, but he was really staying here. Well, I appreciate you sharing these things, and we're going to share those with the guys about how you felt about them. And We really, you know, we do a lot of coaching, as you probably know, during mm -hmm. during the intense parts of right. jobs, the day-to-day the -day all of that stuff gets coached. You can't, you can't ever stop coaching. Right. right. But uh, they also need that positive reinforcement yeah. that we get from, and we really appreciate opportunities to talk like this. Mm -hmm. It tells us a lot of how you feel. We can try, 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 but until we know exactly how you felt yeah. about it. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you are the beneficiaries of many previous interviews. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where people said didn't like this or that. Let's fix it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so you know, and, and of course we do want any constructive criticism you can give us too and you share that with us yeah. and we'll continue to be better for you if you ever need us again or your friends yes let us not forget Marsha too I was about thank to say for, what about the design thank her for putting up with us because oh. initially <laughs> I know <laughs> yeah I would ask her I would ask her yeah, what, what, they, what, what do you mean it's changing <laughs> they, thank her Thank you for putting up with us. <laughs> Mainly me, I think it was. <laughs> I don't, okay. I don't you think know. it was him. It was me. But you know, yeah. I just, I knew, I know what I want. Yeah. And until it's that, you're not really satisfied. No, I'm not. And that's what it was. If we didn't hit all the hot, hot points. But she was accommodating though each time. She yeah. Oh, oh yes. She she oh yes, she, she did. She she always yes. was. When uh -huh. Alice, if you want you happy, 
I said, good, because I want to be happy, Marsha. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for mentioning Marsha. I know she yes. really appreciate those comments. And, and uh, the, um, you know, Bonnie, great, Bonnie yeah, Bonnie, but um, in terms of her accident, that great recovery after her accident. I know. Oh, I hip. know. Poor it's Marcia. Like you walk walking around like this. You, you broke your hip. It's like you're walking around like this. It's like. We have to quick. remind her to use her cane <laughs> afterwards because yeah, she's not able so, to. So independent. Uh, yes, yes, she really is. Yeah, yeah I got to give her a lot, a lot of credit for, for that, how she bounced back. Yes, yes. And, yes. and she mm-hmm. knows she likes her job. She loves her job. She loves her job. Aww. And I don't want to leave Mike and Rob out. They was those the like I said, those was the wall builders. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> the dust uh, barrier. Yes, yeah. and the one that you know they brought all out. Whenever they came in, they would let me know they was coming. Mm-hmm. You know, cause they delivered the cabinets, they delivered the doors, they hauled the trailers off. Mm-hmm. So that morning when I got that letter from my homeowner association, and I was kind of upset, so I. I um, Called David. I said, David, they talking about mine. Yeah. Bought that trailer out there, trying to put it in the garage. He said, you can't put nothing in. You can't put this in your garage. He said, would you put it in the tech so Keith can see it? I said, I sure will. So Keith took me back, and I felt a lot better that day when Keith told me, don't worry about it. Because that's what he said. Bob said, not Bob. David said, don't worry about it. And then when Keith put it in, don't worry about it. And if they ask you anything, what to say. Yeah. Aww. So can you tell me why you wanted to do the remodel? Well, we was going to buy a house. Okay. And it was it was a nice home and it was it was expensive, but I didn't read the expense wasn't a problem. Mm-hmm. But it just wasn't big enough. My master bath my master bedroom is huge. Mm-hmm. And we have two closets in there. And this house only had one master closet. And it wasn't really big in the bedroom. Only thing we could get in the bedroom was two chairs, a dresser, and a little sitting area. Mm. So that it was. Wasn't, you would have had to remodel that. We would have had to put more money into what the house was already expensive to get what we wanted. To want. upgrade. Yeah. To, to upgrade. upgrade. Yeah. So I told Earl, I said, no, I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. But he wasn't happy with me, of course. Mm-hmm. You know, he was ready to move. Yeah. So that's when I kept talking about him. So finally he. He agreed with me, you know, happy life, happy wife. Yes. <laughs> That's right. That's so, right. So you, you felt like you just needed to change a few things to make the, everything else the way you wanted it, yeah. and then you had the rest of it, you right. know, what you already needed. Exactly. Right. You exactly. just needed a few things. So how do you feel now, or else that you were leaning toward the new home? How do you feel about, if you had to do it over again, would you would you buy the house if you had your choice? I, I think I'd keep this, you know, I would keep this. It's a lot of work to go through the remodeling process. Yes, yes. But it's a lot of work to move too, isn't it? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. In some ways, it can be harder to move than to go through a construction project in your home. I know that's what a lot of people told us. But we, when they would say that, but well, y'all better move than that. I said, no, this construction company we have, they are great. I said, so we, we are fine with this. I said, yeah. I don't want to move up. Plus, we have to move ourselves. No. We've been used to military moving us. We never had to move. Yes, because yeah. they pack different. everything. They come and pack everything. Yes, it would have been a whole different yes. ball game this yes. move. And that was another thing I didn't want to do. Either. And the longer you stay in one place, the move gets bigger and bigger. It's not like the previous <laughs> moves where you're moving every three years, right? Yes. Right. right, exactly. Yeah, it starts to become a different dynamic. And for me personally, from what I've seen with clients moving and, of course, me, me dreading to move, it can be easier to remodel. Yes, it definitely yes. can be. If, if you don't go through a nightmare experience like a lot of people have gone through. A lot of through. people right. do. Right. Yeah, we're happy with it. We're very, very happy. happy. We have yeah. people ask, well, how's the remodel going? I said, it's going great. <laughs> They're like, what? And yes, and they was like, Alice, you just. You're pulling our legs. No, they just said, you just, just roll with the floor. I said, why not? Nothing I have no control over. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I have Aww. control over, I don't worry about. Yeah. And? You did have a lot of control because you chose the right. You chose right at the beginning. If right. you choose wrong, you you lose control. Yes. But I feel like you did your y'all did so much prep work at the beginning and planning and, right. and getting it the way you wanted. You were very, very uh, contemplative about every decision you made. So right. you really didn't have a whole lot to worry about as long as we weren't looking like we didn't know what we were doing. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Well, thank y'all so much. Well, thank y'all.
Oh, yes, this is such a beautiful much. project. Do you love your oversized island? Yes. <laughs> this is what I wanted. I do too, and it fits in this space really, really well. Yeah, yes. it really this, does. This is an example for many people who don't can't envision what it would look like to have a big island, which gives you that prep area plus the seating. Right. Wow. Yeah. This is what we want in our house. I have to show mom the pictures. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bring my <laughs> Oh, she will yeah. love this kitchen because Thanks. people gather. People get you know you're gonna have people to gather around socially anyway, and they don't gather around the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So this is perfect for you know you got over there if you want to sit some extra people. We're gonna sit some people back here in the back, so it's like mm -hmm. all it's open. Yeah. It's open, so it's all like, connected. Yeah. 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 Well, again, thank you all so much. We we are very grateful to have you all as our clients, and, and thank you for trusting us. Well, we thank, thank you. you thank you. Thanks so much. Great job for the team. <laughs> it's a win. <laughs>